everyone let us discuss this example in this example we have a set u which is equal to open ball with center 0 0 and radius 1 minus singleton 0 0 that means in the diagram you can see we have a open ball with center 0 0 and radius 1 but see center 0 0 is removed from a ball as you can see here so this is set u we have and we have to prove that it is an open set with a euclidean matrix See, we have to, that means they have asked to determine, but actually you can easily see this is an open ball and single point is removed. So, therefore, it will be an open set. So, this thing we are going to prove. Okay. So, how to prove any set is open? So, we take any arbitrary point. After that, we try to find a ball around it, which is subset of that set. So, then we can de declare it is open set. Same technique I will use here. Let us take one arbitrary point. Let a comma b belongs to u b any arbitrary point okay arbitrary point so let me show it here so suppose this is point a b i am taking huh? a comma b so implies we can write okay this is belongs to a uh, u that means a b belongs to let me follow the definition of u which is open ball with center 0 0 radius 1 minus singleton 0 0 that means our point a b lies in this ball but which is not equal to that point so implies a b belongs to ball getting it belongs to ball and uh, c and a b is not equal to 0 0 getting it is not equal to 0 0 since that 0 0 is removed from that ball so see when any point lies in a ball when any point lies in a ball then we say the distance of that point from center of ball is less than its radius so that thing i can use here so this implies distance of ab from 0 0 is less than 1 okay very important thing we have got i am calling it as 1 and the second important thing is ab is not equal to 0 0 this is also important thing we have got we are calling it as 2 right so now uh, see ab we have got so we have to find a ball around it which is subset of this big ball that means which is subset of set u so for that we have to find a radius so let us find radius so let i am taking r is r1 uh, sorry r is equal to minimum of d of ab comma 0 0 uh, and 1 minus d of ab comma 0 0 okay i will show you what i have done here hmm. so distance of ab from 0 0 distance of ab from 0 0 that means this distance getting and 1 minus distance of ab from my uh, comma 0 0 that means 1 means you know the radius of this circle is 1 getting so from radius we are subtracting this distance so you will have this distance getting so the second part is this one so what will be the minimum distance either Point, uh, distance between these two points or 1 minus uh, distance between these two points so this distance whatever the minimum that distance we are going to select and that will be our r getting so we have we are going to prove open ball with center uh, a b okay and radius r will be a subset of that set u so that will be my claim let me mention here my claim is now my claim is open ball with center a b and radius r subset of u so this radius we have taken i will repeat what what is our radius okay distance of a b from 0 0 that is the first part and 1 minus that means this complete distance minus distance of a b from 0 0 so if you subtract this part from this part you will have this small part okay so this one or this one so that means what will be the minimum value that is my r okay uh -huh. So open ball with center a b and radius r is subset of u this is our claim so we are going to prove it if we can prove it then we can declare therefore u is a is an open set okay so how to prove one set is subset of other we have a very simple technique we take one arbitrary point from this set and we prove that it is in second set so let let me take x y belongs to open ball with center a b and radius r so x y is in ball that means distance of xy from center of ball is less than its radius 
so that's why what can we write distance of x y from a b is less than radius okay so this is very important thing we have got i am calling it as 3 see by definition of r so now by definition of r see r is minimum of both uh, these values getting so therefore r is less than or equal to d of a b comma 0 0 as well as r is less than or equal to that part also since it is a minimum of this two values so that's why it will be less than or equal to first or it is less than or equal to second but right now i will use this part only r is less than or equal to this one so see uh yes so i will call it as four so tell me can we combine three and four what will you get from three and four what will you have d of x y comma a b is less than or less than r and r is less than or equal to this one so this is less than d of a b and 0 0 you are getting so distance of x y and a b is less than distance of a b and 0 0 that means 101 percent x y is not equal to 0 0 see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so therefore what will be our conclusion so therefore therefore x y is not equal to 0 0 very important thing we have got i am calling it as 5 i will tell you why okay so suppose consider this point a consider this point b okay so there is some distance between them is distance of ap is less than distance of ab distance of ap so there is one more point p distance of ap is less than distance of ab that means 101 percent p is not equal to b if p is equal to b there should be equality getting so same logic i applied here distance of x y and a b is less than distance of a b and 0 0 so obviously x y is not equal to 0 0 by applying that logic i got this one okay let me remove this one it is not required okay let us go further see now again by definition of r again by definition of r Definition of R says R is less than or equal to C1 minus D of AB comma 0, 0. So as you know, in a definition of R, we write minimum of two values. So that means R is less than or equal to first part as well as R is less than or equal to second part. So here in this e equation of inequality number four, we use that R is less than or equal to first part. Now I am saying R is less than or equal to second part. So this will be inequality number six. Let us use from, let me write three and six. Will you tell me what can we write by using inequalities three and six? So we can write D of X, Y, right? Comma, A, B is less than R, but R is less than or equal to this one. So this one is less than one minus D of A, B, comma, zero, zero, right? So can you guess my next step? Obviously, this term I'm going to shift it here. So therefore, d of x, y, comma, a, b, plus d of a, b, comma, 0, 0, okay, less than 1. So it had a minus sign. If you shift it here, it will have plus sign. Now I'm going to use triangle inequality. So therefore, by triangle inequality, will you tell me what can we write? d of x, y, comma 0 0 I'm going to use triangle inequality so this is less than or equal to d of x y comma a b right plus d of a b comma 0 0 okay I'm using triangle I introduce a point a b here so see but the same term we have got here and we have already said it is less than 1 so this is also less than 1 so therefore d of x y comma 0 0 is less than 1 since a less than b b less than c so we can write a less than c so we proved here so distance of x y from 0 0 is less than 1 so if distance of any point x y x y is any arbitrary point whose distance from 0 0 is less than its radius that means that point lies in a ball right so where shall i write let me write here so therefore x y belongs to open ball with center 0 0 radius 1 okay this is i think we have seventh equation so seventh term uh, 
seven equation we have got here so xy belongs to this ball and we have already proved xy is not equal to zero zero getting that means any point xy xy is here some point is here xy which is in a ball but which is not equal to zero zero that means it is a member of u since it will satisfy the condition of u see uh, just a minute make a screenshot of it then we'll go further so therefore our conclusion will be huh so xy therefore xy therefore i should mention from phi u and 7 right from phi u and 7 what will we have x y belongs to this ball belongs to this ball with center 0 0 radius 1 right but which is not equal to 0 0 so that's why I'm removing 0 0 from that and this is nothing but set u so therefore x y belongs to u basically we had taken x y from open ball we had taken x y from open ball with center a b and radius r if you remember so actually xy was an element of that small ball and we proved that it is in big ball so that's why we can say small ball is a subset of big ball so therefore therefore let me write therefore xy belongs to open ball with center a b radius r implies we proved xy belongs to u so we had taken element from this ball we proved it is in u so therefore we can write therefore ball with center a b radius r is subset of u getting so actually u was a given set right and we had taken a b any arbitrary point and we could find a ball around it which is subset of u so u satisfies the definition of open set and we can declare therefore u is open in r2 with euclidean matrix with euclidean matrix so in this way we proved that u is an open set make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye